Good afternoon everyone, this is North Shore Preparedness coming to you from the beautiful shores of Lake Ontario. Today is Monday, September the 21st, 2020. It is the last day of summer. Um, and it's a beautiful day. Um, somebody in, in the comments of one of my videos had asked me to do a video about uh, streaming the steam for 10 minutes um, and how that worked. Uh, you know with pressure canning um, so you know lo and behold surprise 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 I just so happen to have something in the canner here right now um, I'm canning uh, doing a hot pack of uh, cooked uh, chicken breast in uh, pint sized jars and I, I thought I'd take the opportunity to um, show that viewer uh, exactly what I meant by streaming the steam and uh, you know sort of exactly how I do it. Now I'm sh I think you can see that stream of steam coming out of the uh, vent hole there. Okay now once your pressure canner comes up to temperature it will begin to steam out of there and once it does you want to let it steam for 10 minutes in a steady stream like that before you actually uh, go ahead and set your weight on top. Okay, I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't have my hot paws on and it hasn't streamed uh, for 10 minutes yet. But um, but that's, that's what you wanna do there. Now, as you can see, um, this um, pressure lock has come up. Um, you can also see on the, uh, the pressure gauge, that there is no pressure registering on the gauge. It's, there's just enough uh, pressure in there to activate this lock. Now, um, because this is a hot pack, uh, what I did was the liquids and meat inside my um, jars, they were cooked and hot, okay? So it's, it's basically just cooked chicken breast cut up and I topped it up with um, some chicken stock. Um, I set them into the canner with warm to hot water inside the canner. You know, if you got hot liquids, you want to set them into a, a warm canner, okay? And then what I did with my temperature, uh, you, you can see over here, it's on maximum right now, so I can get that stream of steam uh, going for 10 minutes. But what I did with my uh, temperature setting is I started off gradually once I got my uh, my jars in there and the lid on. I started off gradually down at, you know, six or seven, then I brought it up a little bit uh, more towards eight, and then um, up to maximum to get uh, my uh, stream of steam going. Okay, so once you get your steady stream of steam coming out of the vent hole for 10 minutes, like I showed you, you put your weight on. You put your weight on, and then you let your uh, temperature, uh, sorry, your pressure gauge come up to the prescribed level of pressure you need to can at your elevation, okay? And that's going to be different with every elevation that you're at, okay? Um, so, yeah, once you get your, uh, your weight on there, wait for your pressure to come up. Once your pressure comes up, you want to regulate the temperature to maintain that pressure. So what you're going to need to do is once you've achieved your pressure, is you're going to need to adjust the temperature of your stove down in order to just maintain that pressure. If it goes below that pressure, you're going to have to turn it back up, let it come back up to pressure, and uh, uh, start timing all over again. But uh, yeah, once, once you come up to pressure, I use 11 pounds. Um, for my elevation. Once it comes up to pressure, uh, regulate your temperature to maintain that pressure uh, for the prescribed uh, time to can, uh, to pressure can whatever it is that you're pressure canning, okay? And I, uh, I did mention to this uh, viewer uh, that I am working on an electric stove here with these uh, coil type burners. Um, so they adjust fairly well. I'm not working with a flame, this is just an electric stove. But I wanted to show you, uh, put out a quick video, just of the uh, 
steady streaming of the steam for 10 minutes and you know sort of how I begin my canning process. Once I get my uh, pressure regulated by controlling the temperature of uh, my uh, burner um, then I will start the timer uh, and, and this uh, this is chicken in pint, uh, so I'll uh, pressure can this for 75 minutes. Uh, okay, so uh, to that viewer who, who asked the, the question about steaming the stream, this is what it means, and uh, I hope you find this video useful, okay? That's what I've got for you guys today. This is going to be North Shore Preparedness, out for now. Stream for 10 minutes, add your weight. Stay well, all.